my name is Karen LeBlanc Baer, and I attended Eastern in uh, 1967 and 68. My fondest memories are being a freshman and being in a musical with Bob Pratt that I had known since I was a child and got to be in a play with him. I was in Music Man. I was the uh, mayor's daughter and it was just the highlight of my my college years was getting to be in this play and the musical was and it was fun to be in but the practices were so much fun all the group we, we kind of became friends in fact the lady that played my mother i still see her in McAllister, and we always visit and have a good time so these are memories that i have from from just being here and it helped me a lot to uh, to get out in front of people easier because I never did have that. I was always kind of shy, but it did help in that respect. And the main thing about my history of the Music Man, there was a man there in Hearts Arn that went to California and had his own business of designing clothes. And he was a friend of a friend of my mother's and he designed all the clothes for Music Man that was played on Broadway and he sent me two of the dresses that were actually worn on Broadway and I got to wear those and uh, it was really exciting to get this from California and then get to try them on and they were a perfect fit but it was just a very fun time in my life and Mr. Pratt was just awesome. Hello Eastern, uh, my name is Nicholas Santine. I was in the theater department at Eastern when I was a kid, did uh, several productions of children's theater, and uh, I uh, didn't have much of that opportunity of children's theater in McAllister yet. I hadn't quite started up when I was a kid, and so the uh, that was my only opportunity. It was out at Eastern and Wilberton, and being born in McAllister, it was a 30-minute commute both ways. You know, I uh, I remember getting out of school during production and. Uh, would get in the car and my mom or grandmother would drive me, I'd do my homework in the car and then do two or three hours of rehearsal, get back in the car and do homework and come back. And uh, I just uh, remember having such a good time. I think my favorite memory though was uh, being in Oklahoma in 2006 when we were celebrating the centennial year of the state of Oklahoma. And my parents were both in the production and I was in the chorus and I just remember it being such so cool that I was in a big kid production. And uh, not with the other kids, you know, I was with the adults and the the, uh, the regular folks now. And so uh, moving from there, it really has sparked my interest in, in theater and public speaking and singing. Uh, you know, I competed in theater in high school some and did mock trial in high school. And it's really uh, made, me, made me enjoy singing and pursue that on my own as a hobby and taking those chances to perform with that. It even has uh, pushed me to direct my own production of a show that I did a few months ago here at uh, Georgia Tech, and that was such a cool experience to get to see that from start to finish. And uh, you know, I owe, owe that start to to Eastern and giving me the love for the, the arts and singing and acting and creativity. Um, it, it's even affected my professional life. I'm uh, studying accounting here at Georgia Tech, and. Uh, it's uh, it's crazy acting and fine arts and accounting don't really mix, you know. Uh, but the uh, it's really sparked my interest in finding ways to do business and do accounting for the the entertainment industry, you know, the theater and TV and that type of thing. And so this summer I actually uh, I'm starting that journey with the Walt Disney Company out in Los Angeles, and uh, I'm going to be out there this summer interning and doing accounting for the company and it's going to be a, a really cool experience to get to see both of those loves and enjoyment come together. So thank you so much Eastern. Hi, my name is Lucy Muller. I'm from Kiowa, Oklahoma. I was at Theater Eastern from 2003 until 2006. Some of the musicals that I was a part of were Grease, Wizard of Oz, Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, and my personal favorite was Quilters. Um, Quilters is a show where you get to sing hymnals, so those are always beautiful and wonderful. And it was about pioneer women who quilted their ways through the tough times of life. And I mean, that's what Oklahoma was built on, these strong women um, pushing themselves and their families through tough times to build our state to what it is today. My favorite theater Eastern memory was going to the Capitol and accepting the Governor's Arts and Education Award for all of the work throughout all of those years of doing the Children's Theater Program. That program 
impacted so many kids' lives, helped direct their future. Um, it was just amazing to be a part of all of that. So Theater Eastern shaped my life in several different ways. Um, during my time at the Theater Eastern, I learned that I'm pretty independent, I'm pretty smart, I'm determined, I'm strong, um, I can get things done. And I learned that um, under the direction of Ruth Brailsford, I learned that I'm enough. Had it not been for Ruth Brailsford and Les, I would not be where I'm at today, both personally and professionally. So if I could leave you with one thing, it would be to support your arts, and support your local artists, and also, and more importantly, support our art education, because that's where our students' futures lies. Um, arts helps form and develop our students into the leaders that they are today. I'm Dr. Billy Gibbons, Professor Emeritus, English Department, East Oklahoma State College. I uh, cannot remember a time when the Eastern Theater and Music Departments were not a part of my life. I started going to the uh, productions with my mom who participated in the music program here. And uh, I, I got to see all the productions from a child on and always enjoyed it. When I came to Eastern uh, in 1969, uh, I participated in the musical Bye Bye Birdie and Little Mary Sunshine. And from 69 to 71, I got to participate. I thoroughly enjoyed uh, an opportunity to learn outside the classroom that was fun. Bob Pratt was directing us on the music side and Johnny Ray was, was directing us on the acting side and we had some great times. One of the things that was really uh, special to me was uh, Bob Pratt always double casted the lead roles because we had so much participation and he wanted to provide an opportunity for as many students as possible to have as much stage time as possible. And so we would do productions Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then take it on the road. So it was a wonderful opportunity to learn outside the classroom. It's my hope that that day will return when we have funding and students available to carry on this great tradition. Thank you, Easter. Hello, my name is Christina Bentley. I was a theater major at Eastern from 2002 to 2005. Um, I, the lessons I learned here were something that I would have never gotten anywhere else. I would not be the person that I am today. I went from barely speaking in high school to being on stage in theater and just finding myself in a way that I never would have been able to. My favorite memories were always working with the Children's Theater Workshop. Uh, I loved working with the kids on those shows. I loved working on the musicals and doing costumes was always my favorite thing. I think the biggest lesson that I learned was how to take disappointments, not getting a part that I wanted, not being able to do something the way that I wanted, and being able to move on from that and keep going and keep learning. And I don't think I would have been able to do that if it hadn't been for Ruth and Les. So thank you. Thank you for helping me be who I am today. Hi guys, this is Whitney. My name is Whitney Kirkwood now, but when I was there, I was Whitney Waldrop. I grew up in Wilburton my entire life. My whole family still lives there. I went to Eastern on a scholarship um, through the music department when I graduated from high school. I was involved in choir and band and sound sensations and at the end of my spring semester, I was in the musical at the end of the year. So my first year, I was in Guys and Dolls and it was the best time of my life. I met some of my amazing best friends there that I still are in contact with to this day. We had a great time. I got to play Adelaide and it was so fun. I loved it. Um, I got to be the ditzy fun girl. <laughs> Um, it was really great and the music is fantastic. That really sparked my interest in musical theater. I love theater. I love doing plays. I love that kind of stuff. I am now currently in my fifth year of teaching. I teach elementary school. I teach elementary music. So I have about 650 kids a week, which sounds insane coming from Wilburton, Oklahoma because it's very small there. Um, I absolutely love what I do. I'm actually in my classroom right now because I forgot to make this video earlier, so sorry about that. Um, 
but also when I was at Eastern, I was also in the play the next year, my second year before I graduated. And we did Little Shop of Horrors and it was amazing. I got to get eaten by a giant plant. Um, <laughs> I played Audrey and it was amazing. Um, also during the play, um, Robert was my love interest. He was my Seymour, shout out to Robert. And uh, my wig fell off <laughs> during the musical. So like I got eaten by the plant and I had this horrible blonde wig on that I did not like at all. So shout out to Melissa for making me wear that. Um, <laughs> uh, she said either uh, wear a wig or dye it. So I wore a wig um, and I got eaten by the giant plant and my wig fell off. So my hair is brown so you could see it. So I wanted to die. I was so embarrassed and Robert thought it was hilarious and everybody thought it was funny and shout out to my mom because my mom was the first person to notice it. So Thanks, Mom. Um, anyway, but I had an amazing experience at Eastern, and I'm very grateful. I don't think I would be where I am today had I not had the experience I did have at Eastern. Um, I got, I built up my confidence as a musician and as a leader there. I met some amazing people that I'm still best friends with today, and I'm so grateful for all the educators that I have had there and still am in contact with them. I'm very grateful to Paul Enos. He was an amazing instructor. I was already very close with him when I was younger, but then I really became very close with him while I was at Eastern because he really helped me realize that music was really what I wanted to study. And I was very grateful for that. Um, I left Eastern in 2009 and graduated and transferred to UCO in Edmond. And that is where I finished my bachelor's degree in vocal music education. And so I have been teaching now for five years, which is insane because I still feel like <laughs> the little 18, 19 year old that left Wilberton, Oklahoma. So that's pretty crazy. Um, I just hope that everyone understands the amazing impact that small schools like that can have on people like me because had I not had that experience, I know that I wouldn't be the kind of teacher I am today. I don't even know if I would be a teacher, honestly. And I'm very grateful for that because I'm in an amazing district. I'm, I work with amazing students every day and with amazing other educators. So I just want everybody to know that dreams do come true because being a performer was amazing, but being a teacher is even more amazing. So I am very grateful. So I just hope everyone enjoys this evening and I'm sorry I can't be there. I wish I could. I have a performance with my own students um, tonight uh, at a fundraiser. So being a teacher and all that. So I hope everyone has an amazing evening. Bye. Hi, my name is Hannah Truitt. I was a product of the Children's Theater Workshop Program. I attended it from the year 2000 up until middle school, um, and then I attended Eastern Oklahoma State College from 2013 to 2015. I was in shows such as Wizard of Oz and Charlotte's Web when I was younger, and then I remember Children's Theater Workshop, the program Oklahoma, and clowning around. And then when I was a college student, I was in every production, um, Hedda Gabler, Rumors, Big Love, 25th Annual Putnam County Spelling Bee, um, and I know there were many more that I was involved with. I may have just not been on stage. Um, after Eastern, I went to Northeastern State University in Tahlequah, Oklahoma, and that is where I now both attend and work. I graduated with a theater degree, with a bachelor's in theater, and then now I am pursuing a master's in education. Um, I don't have one story to share with you. I really am a product of Eastern Oklahoma State College Theater Program. Without CTW, I would not have found a passion for the arts. I would not um, have realized that's what I want to do for the rest of my life. And that's what I want to do. After I complete this degree, I will stay at this position um, until I find a another position where I can teach college students, because that's my dream. That's always been my dream since I've been at Eastern. Um, but like I said, I would not be here without CTW, without Ruth, um, without everybody that helped along the way, all the college students. Um, I remember looking up whenever I was younger, standing on the stage and looking up at all of the quotes on the wall and thinking, you know, I can't wait until I can do that. And I haven't done it yet, but hopefully by the end of the night I will. Um, but one quote always stuck out to me and it said, there's no place like home. 
If I clicked my heels three times, I would be here. And that never rang more true than with me. If I could click my heels and be in Mitchell Auditorium center stage, I would. I want to say thank you to everyone that came out tonight, and I hope you enjoy the show. Thank you.